<laughs> Guys, hi! Yo. How you doing? Pretty good. It's good to see. We got to see a little behind the scenes line check action before <laughs> everyone was like, is the show starting? They're like, sorry. Um, will you guys do me a, and everyone else a huge favor? I'm sure you need no introductions, but will you please go ahead and just tell us your names and, and what you're doing in the band? What's up? Uh, I'm Alex. I, I try to play guitar. BG's going to hand you a microphone right now. Uh, I'm Gabe, and I play Shaker and Tom. <laughs> Pretty awesome. I'm Brendan, and I sing. Uh, I'm Michael, and I play bass. I'm Nick, I play keys. And you're And right. And sing. <laughs> cool. So you guys, you, Brendan, you were just telling that story about opening for my band, and I remember when I, when I saw you guys at the sold-out Great American Music Hall show that you headlined, in August, I was so stoked, and I remember I, I took a photo and I Instagrammed it, and my comment was, I remember when these guys opened for my band at Blake's, like, and you guys were super young, and I remember you guys, one of my favorite, <laughs> my favorite part was that you asked our violin player if she would, like, play on a couple of songs with you, and we were all a little bit like, who do these kids think they are? <laughs> but you guys were awesome, and, and always so friendly and genuine right from the get-go, and, and it's just been a pleasure to see you guys like have such a successful year. How, how are you guys feeling about it? How, are you guys feeling like it's a successful year? It's yes. Yeah, I'm pretty cool. Uh, compared to previous years especially, yes. We've yeah. had, yeah. yeah. I mean, we recently uh, like took time off from school. We had some, you know, a lot of downtime, getting everything together, preparing for this new album, and um, that took forever. Uh, and then really, like, I mean, in that time, we, we really were worried that we lost a lot of the momentum we even had ever had. Right. Which, you know, looking back, really wasn't even much. So we're crazy for leaving school. But, um... Uh, <laughs> um no, but now... It seems, like, it seems like the momentum is definitely still yeah, there. Yeah, now, so. like, we were just so happy with the how it went when we released the album. And the, and the year after that, it's just been a whirlwind, and it's been super fun. And all of you guys, we can't thank you enough for supporting us. <laughs> Yeah. The new album is kick ass. It's so good. Um, is that a slur? Can you say that? Yeah, I can, I can say whatever the, I want. Man. I'm the host of this show. Um, so you guys are. Word on the street is that you guys are working on re-releasing the album. Tell us a little bit about that. It's a word on the street. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, guess I heard that from a drug dealer. I think. I think it was Andrew from Rinse and Tiger. Actually. <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, just with like the recent uh, BMW ad and some other stuff in the works, it seemed necessary maybe to, to kind of release the album as brand new. Um, but we didn't really know how to go about doing that. And um, so what we did now to make it a little more special is we're going to release a few alternate versions of these songs. Not all of them, just two, but um, uh, you know, just to give some like some a little a new twist on some of the old things. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're re-releasing it. Because um, you know we're hoping that um, in the next few months we'll get you know some new fans. We want the album to come off as a new album to them, and also maybe give ourselves more time to make sure the next one after this is going to be really good. We, we really, really, yeah. Uh, we, we, we took a long. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we took a long time on the one we just released. So um, yeah, you guys were working on it for a while. What was yeah. what was the process for that like? Were you guys were you guys and who was involved? Were you all guys all involved in in the writing of this latest record or? In different, uh, like. Uh, Brendan and Michael and yeah. I were there all the time. Okay. Yeah. How dare it's you? Not the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you? Um, Gabe, we, Gabe joined the band like. Uh, after we had written about like half the songs, but we hadn't recorded any of them yet. I recorded one, we just recorded them. Um, and then he, he brought a whole new light, I guess, to that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was a really cool experience. You can't um, it was awesome. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we spent our whole time since high school with this band, and it was, you know, we had a sound we had kind of developed with those members, and it was really interesting to bring in new members for this album. And it, I don't know, it kind of, uh, sparked more creativity, I think. Just get the new twist on stuff, and it felt different. I don't know. It was, it was really interesting. It yeah, it, I've, I've been in that situation where you have new people coming yeah. to a band. Was it scary at all to have, like, a brand new crew? Because, I mean, the other guys were with you for the other two EPs, yeah. right? Yeah. And so yeah, this album was, like, sort of a new new lineup. It was definitely scary um, when we didn't have them, and we hadn't found Gabe yet, and we are just kind of looking for another drummer, and wondering what we were going to do and how we were going to release songs and keep the momentum that we thought we had. Um, and that's, I think, part of the reason why it took so long to record 
this record is because for a lot of the time we like didn't have a band and therefore like couldn't practice or these songs yet right. that we had written. So, so a lot of these songs were actually like recorded before we'd ever played them live, or I guess a couple of them, um, which is not our, our ideal way to, to record music. Um, just because you know, for us personally, we like to just like jam out and stuff live. Um, and jam band, jam out all fresh. Jam band. Thirteen minute tracks all the way around. No, but I, I mean, you know, what we're really in music for is like for the live shows and stuff. And and it was a it was a bit of a bummer uh, not having a full band for a little while and uh, having yeah. to go into random studios and try to put these songs together when none of us were drummers and. We had to hire people. Yeah, you had a couple. Mess. You had yeah. a couple of different drummers for a while. Like you had Petro from Dizzy Balloon playing guitar for yeah. you for a couple of shows. You had we John had John Devoto from The Matches was playing drums with you guys for yeah. a while. Good times. Yeah, it was yeah. strange. I mean, it was like there was a period where every different live show we had different people playing with us, and it was yeah. just like I just you know as fun as it was. Yeah, like, I don't remember that. Like, yeah, I I like I remember I it was just like after every show. It just didn't feel the same as it felt having yeah. a really well rehearsed band and everyone knew what they were doing. Right, even if the people in a band are really good musicians, when you're like, it, like there's a certain amount of time it takes to like gel together, and if yeah. you're brand new, like no matter how good you are, there's like a little bit of like uncertainty around that. Yeah, definitely. Gabe uh, dressed like a bro when we first met him. <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> no, uh, I had great fashion sense. <laughs> he had a fashion sense. <laughs> Polos all day, man. I don't even know how comfortable it is. So, Gabe, what's it? What? Well, you're not the newest member of the band. No. But what was it like? I'm, we'll, we'll get to we'll get to Nick <laughs> over there. But what what was it? What was it like uh, jumping in with these guys when they they were sort of like in the middle of developing a new album? Uh, it was. Gabe, tell us. It was mildly intimidating until I got to know them and realized that they're all very nice people. Um, and it was, I don't know, it worked pretty well. When I auditioned, I, they were all super nice and it felt good. And then they called me eight months later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was like, rough. Like a one night stand. Yeah, it felt like one night, I felt like I was you or something. It was, yeah, we lived oh, just finally. Him until eight like, nobody later. loves me! I, I talked to them through emails. Yeah, we have a history. Yeah, we oh. do. <laughs> Brendan's a sensitive one. <laughs> he took care of me. Um, but no, it was, it was cool. Um, it definitely, I was out of my, like, element, and then I had to, I don't know, figure it out, I guess. But luckily, these guys were really helpful and really nice, and, uh, made sure I was comfortable. And, and is it, is it your drumming on the album? Uh, so I didn't drum on three songs. <laughs> Take It Out, Catch You, and, um, but everything else, me. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we wish, we wish we could have Gabe drum on all the songs, but a lot of the times we were, like, constrained by a lot yeah. of time and, and money uh, and we were super in debt after that all that album yeah. stuff i mean so we like yeah. couldn't actually have him play drums even though like he had written cooler parts and stuff and we wanted to put him on there we just like didn't have the time to have the money and, <laughs> thank and you dude it sucked it a lot actually yeah um doctor was originally recorded with a different drummer yeah and that one we were just like his part was so much cooler and we were just like i oh, need you to st and then just like make this you know get it where it is it feels yeah. great, great. <laughs> no, but uh I don't know that. So yeah, we regretted not being able to put him on all the songs because of stuff like that. But That's sweet. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, man, nice to hear. That's cool. Yeah, Gabe, you're awesome, man. It's been a pleasure watching you jump in with the guys. Thank you. It's been, it's been fun. Um, Nick, <laughs> you're you're the newest member, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's correct. Cool. How long have you been playing with these guys? Uh, a year and three days. Woo! Actually, I just had my hey, congratulations! Happy anniversary! Yeah. I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah. And you're okay. So you guys are another band of brothers because oh. Gabe and Nick, you guys are brothers, and then Brent, Michael yes. and Brendan, you guys are twins. So Alex, <laughs> I asked you this question backstage, and it came across a little. I felt bad. I was no, like, how does cool, it feel dude. to be the only one? It's cool, man. It's cool. But I asked Andrew, so I feel like I have to ask you too, what's it like? It's it's not it's not bad at all. Nice. I love these guys like brothers anyway, so it's yeah. chill. We show him love. <laughs> we when we cuddle, we include Alex in the cuddle. <laughs> wait, you guys, have, wait, wait, you guys have brother cuddle puddles? <laughs> we switch, I get Brendan oh, okay. <laughs> it's not weird at all. It's not weird. Alex watches. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Next question. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, who so who's who's sort of the primary songwriter? I mean, I imagine it's Brendan, but like how Skate, much? Actually, <laughs> that's why they brought me in. But, but I mean, how much of how much of the work is collaborative? How much of it is? Does Brendan? Do you come to the band with like a fully formed song or what? I mean, the... it varies, but it's very collaborative. It's always very collaborative. Uh, I mean, like really, the band brings these songs to life. So um, I don't know. I, like I, I couldn't even imagine bringing these songs to other, you know a group of different people because. It just feels really right bringing the songs I write, and I kind of write the songs I'm writing. It's weird now. I'm in mean, this uh, this point with my writing where I'm kind of like thinking about like when I'm, I'm leaving room because I know like this Alex will do something cool here. Right. Like, you know, it's just like I don't know. You're like I don't need to write a cool part here. Alex will kind of take yeah. care of it. Um, so I'll usually so you know low. I'll bring like um, kind of just like a, a vocal melody and, and the chords and stuff and just a song I've been kind of working on for a little while. And once I feel like it's ready to bring to them without, you know, getting shot down or something, you know, not that they shoot me down really, but I want them to really like the song too. Right. Um, They're sort of acting as your quality control. In a yeah. Way. Um, like that's really valuable. When I, you're in I mean, movie. I really, I would feel really weird, you know, making them play songs that they didn't like. So I, right. I spent a lot of time trying to make sure that they would like it. It's not a dictatorship. No. <laughs> you're not like, guys, not play this song. I love it. <laughs> They're crying. You're like, no, we're playing it. <laughs> <laughs> None of that. None of that. <laughs> so I, I want to know a little bit about your uh, your tour van. Its name is Burrito. Yes. How did it get the name Burrito? We love burritos. We eat a lot of burritos. I've eaten like probably six burritos this week. It's almost an addiction at this point. Actually, you were just talking about as we were waiting to come out here. You were saying, "Oh, that burrito I ate." It's so <laughs> yeah. It's worth it. Um, shout out to our, our buddy Ricky who got us all burritos tonight. Ricky. Hey, give it up for Ricky. Yeah, Ricky got us burritos. Uh, run to love it. Slash best friend. Orange sauce, man. Yeah. Okay, so wait, what, what's your favorite burrito spot, guys? Uh, in San Jose, I think it's probably in Lovex, just because yeah. that orange sauce is so yummy. Really? Yeah, you gotta we have different sauce. spots for different cities, I think. Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite San Francisco burrito? I have to ask. Taco Cancun. Cancun. Yeah, yeah, mine too. I love Taco Cancun. It's so good. Everyone so cheap, is. so good. Um, uh, if you're ever in Alameda, Romero and Sons. Romero and Sons is so good. How many people here from Alameda? Yeah! yeah. yeah. There's like Alameda Row representing back there. I'm not from there, but awesome, guys. Repping <laughs> <laughs> it. Yeah. Good joke, dude. <laughs> anyway. It's weird, you know, talking after Rent and Tiger because those guys are hilarious. Yeah. And we are pretty much quite the opposite. <laughs> you guys are funny, and also you don't have to be funny. Like it's still I like I'm I'm just it's interested. Still, you're not funny, guys. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I, but you know what I mean? Like I like Funny is good, but I also like just hearing about what... I mean, I, I'm interested to know like what it's been like for you guys. Because I... You guys were so... You guys have sort of been... I can't imagine being in the same band that I was in when you guys got started. You know what I mean? Like, I was in a band... I, I remember when we played the first show with you guys, I came away from that and I was like, Fuck, man. We... When I was your guys' age playing music, I sucked! And you guys were awesome, you know? And so I was super jealous. And you guys have been finished Ticket since that show. Um, and that's really cool. How how has it been easy? Has it been hard to like keep things together? So I know it can be like stressful, sort of when you're playing with the same people you grew up with. Um, sometimes it's great. I think it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, it's, it's no real negative. I mean, we might maybe we get sick of each other faster, but we also right. start loving each other again faster. Right. It's that uh, sibling. You sort of you sort of get that no, sibling yeah, dynamic so going. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's it's really cool. It's just very comfortable to like. Um, pretty much only played music with these guys um, since we started kind of writing music ourselves. Um, so there's, I don't know, there's like that base foundation of just like, we kind of know what the other person is going to do anyways. Right. Yeah. I sort of get the feeling that I speak for everyone here when like, I say, and I, this is probably like the fourth time I've said this tonight, but one of my favorite things about you guys is just how genuine you guys are and so excited to be, and it, and it comes out on your, in your performances, like you're uh, there, there's no act, you know what I mean. And do you do you think about that when you're performing on stage, like, or do you just sort of go for it? And uh, I don't, yeah, I don't think we think about it. I mean, you know, I guess it's the way we were raised. We, we, you know, we really appreciate everything. And um, I mean, it's really hard not to like a great American and stuff yeah. like that. When you know, all you guys were. I mean, that was just. It's how can you not be appreciative? Absolutely. I, don't know. I mean, and right now too. You know. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. Um, no, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. It's. It's cool to be appreciative and 
if you're an asshole about stuff, you're an you asshole. You suck. Fuck yeah. <laughs> off. No, I feel like, wait, I mean, you know, my, my, my old band, not to like talk about myself a whole bunch, but... My, Tell us more about your band. <laughs> my, my old band was called Please Do Not Fight because I like, and I was always, that was partially because I'm, on, I'm in the same boat. I totally agree with you that you should be nice and, and not, you know, be a dick and talk shit. And yeah. you, should, you should put out what you want to get back. And that was one of the reasons I was connected. I mean, I remember when we had you guys open for our CD release party, too. You guys came up to me and were like, Zen, thank you. You guys were so stoked. Zen, thank you so much for letting us play this show, man. It was a great so show, man. Yeah, it, it was, dude, it was, and the feeling was so mutual. It was, awesome. it was awesome. I remember when we all came on stage and sang along. Yeah. Oh, that was man. the Rick Shop. That was that. Also, like, we loved that. Guys that was one of the coolest Yeah, we had never played. Bring a band back together. You guys are making me a hell of nostalgic right now, bros. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, to wrap that up, I guess it's it's nice to be nice. And, uh, <laughs> no do, you guys, do you guys ever worry that being nice is boring? Um, no. Okay, good answer. <laughs> that's the nice. That's the nice answer. But <laughs> do you get? But but you know what I mean? Like, there's sort of like, especially when you're playing music, there's a little bit of this. Uh, what what do you? I feel like you were about to say something. Someone said it the other day, or someone said, "Yeah, we like showed up to our video shoot, and like it's our video shoot, and like we're you know everything's like funded. We're, we're paying all these people to be here, and we still felt like we were the weird ones. <laughs> right. like, we were some a quirky group of weirdos, like, and we just we didn't fit in. <laughs> and it's like yeah. you know, it's really strange. <laughs> Can I tell? Still weird. Do you guys mind if I, Brendan? Do you mind if I tell another story about you? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> This is just another thick moment that stands out in my mind about fit. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be the Zen telling finish ticket story hour, but... Keep going, man. I'm going gonna, gonna to roll it. The, uh, one of my other favorite stories is we played a festival together called the SF Indie Fest in San Francisco. And there was an after party, and uh, Brendan was there, and I think Michael was maybe there, too. And you guys came to this after party, <laughs> and every, everyone, else, everyone else at this show was, like, my age, right? So, like, at that point, like, mid-20s. And I remember you guys, we were hanging out with you guys, me and Jeff were there, and we were like, oh, we gotta hang out with the guys from Finish Ticket, they're so nice, it's so awesome, they're here, it was awesome to play this festival with them. And we're hanging out with you guys, and you guys get a phone call, and you guys are like, uh, we, we gotta go. And I was like, oh, and we were like, oh, that's cool, guys, why you gotta go? And you were just like, our mom's here to pick us up. <laughs> and you were so, like, you said it in a way, you were so ashamed. And we were like, and you were like, and then you were like, is that lame, are we lame? Guys, come on! You you're 15 or 16, and you're like playing SF Indie Fest. You're way cooler than we are, so don't even worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was the thing that like we dude. Before we got our van, like our parents had to drive us around all these gigs before we got our licenses. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so embarrassing. We, it was tough being like a younger because you know yeah. I mean, we you know seeing bands like All Your Sessions and Dizzy Balloon and the Matches and stuff. With that you know when we were in high school, we started going to those shows, and then we started this band, and that's what kind of got us. At, originally starting in that scene and we just really wanted to be like all them and you guys were like the first band that really actually seemed to like take an interest and really understand that although we were young we were really serious about it and it was really tough at first being like 15 16 in a you know a scene with like bands that are all like 20 through 25 right, or even totally. older and it, it, it felt like sometimes we really weren't taken seriously so it was something we actually really worry about and so, and it was really tough when you're getting driven up in like a minivan by your parents. You know? <laughs> so. Sucked, man. Yeah. Okay, but now you guys are all uh, fine young gentlemen who are. Uh, <laughs> you, you guys. Say that? <laughs> well, you guys. I mean, you guys agree, right? These guys are are have turned into quite the uh, the. Scheme. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'd get that response, so I had to say it. Um, so what's so what's going on with with you guys now? Are you guys how, how have tours been? You guys did your first national tour. How was that? It was awesome, fun, super cool. Do you guys have any cool stories from the road? <laughs> Can I actually get it? I spilled my water. My, my, bench, my stool. Do you need a what? A, a rag or something. A rag, yeah, we can... You're uh, a BG, right can you hook up, can you hook up some napkins? Brittany's a rag, everybody. <laughs> Stop the show. <laughs> Stop the show. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll get you a... Uh, we'll, we'll get you some sort of drying device. Yes, thank you. <laughs> it's, just, it's just on the wood. Two okay, stool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's too much information for you. There we go. Oh, oh dude. Nice. That was yeah, good. Give it up for game. That was another one. Look at that. I got you too, dude. <laughs>
There you go, just to be safe. Just to be safe. Anyway, uh, so tour, tour was cool. We uh, uh, we ran into Fred Armisen in New York City. <laughs> Whoa, really? Was, yeah. Like, Brandon was so Told cool. him he was awesome. For people like idiots. <laughs> people who don't know that is, that's, he's on Saturday Night Live, and he's also in Portlandia. Um, guy with glasses. It's a great show. It's a good yeah. show. You should watch it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we were walking down the street after we filmed this video uh, in Central Park. And uh, and we were walking down the street. It was everybody except for Michael, <laughs> missed out. Uh, and uh, we were walking one direction, and then uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm more of an insect fan. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and then and then this dude was walking the opposite direction. And he was like carrying this thing of like cardboard and stuff. And then we're all like at the same time. <laughs> and then he totally noticed us do that because we were like four feet away. We were all just like, it's that guy. Good guy. And it was like, hey. You guys weren't subtle. Yeah, no, not at all. No, then we just told him he was awesome and stuff. He was really nice about it. And then we just kind of parted ways. It was cool. Uh, yeah, that was, that was a highlight. We drove a lot. Yeah, a lot. We drove, we yeah. drove from four and a half days straight. Yeah, like I mean, minus sleeping. Yeah, uh, twelve-hour days of driving. We saw cool. a lot of really a lot of corn. <laughs> Iowa is Iowa corny. very boring. <laughs> it's pretty. It's, it's pretty not very out amazing. Maize yeah. yeah. corn maize. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Can we just point out though that Gabe just stole that straight from the tour van? That was yeah, a joke yeah, we had already no, said. No, 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 can corn. we not recycle jokes? Are you guys plagiarizing yourselves? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what do I do? Yeah, it was cool. Uh, we played a lot of great shows and met a lot of nice people, and uh, it was Definitely. really it was a fun experience. It was the most successful one we've had too, especially yeah. on the West Coast. Yeah, uh, it, was it was really, really cool, cool that like people actually came out in random cities where we had no idea we'd have fans. And, That's awesome. Yeah, I got a burp. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Definitely announce that, dude. It's, it's gone now. It's gone. <laughs> so what's what's what, so you guys are about to release a deluxe edition of your album, and what what else is on the horizon for for the yeah. finished ticket boys? Um, Music video for Tranquility. Yeah, video coming out really soon. Awesome. It's definitely the best one we've ever done by is there, far. Is there anything you can tell us about the Tranquilize video? Can you give us like the sneak peek? It's only the best video yeah. we've ever done. <laughs> just, just so we're that again. Um, just so Michael can... I'm excited yeah. to see it. When, when is it coming out? We're not exactly we're sure yet. Sure. Cool. Um, Next yeah. few weeks probably. Yeah. It's That's really fun. cool. We had a great time filming it. It, it, it makes just, us look cooler than we are. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, the quality of these cameras, uh, it was just... It was insane. We were watching it while it was being filmed on certain parts that we weren't in, and just, right. um, I, mean, I mean, it's a red camera, I don't know if you guys know what that one is, but it's just like the like, top notch, mm -hmm. and it was like we were just watching a Hollywood movie be made, and it was just like, you know, and I mean, we've done, we did one for New York a while back, uh, which is with the same director, and it was awesome, but, yeah, that's a great and idea. then this year we did Thanks. some like DIY stuff, um, <laughs> You know, and Michael did in the summer and um, stuff like that. And I just want to say, by the way, that's my favorite song on, oh, on the album. I thank love you. In the Summer. That's such a good track. It's coming up next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're really excited about this one, though. Yeah. Um, cool. Any any big shows or what's what's uh, what's uh, the next show for? Maybe plan? in December. Maybe in December. We're contemplating. We're still trying to figure it out. I mean, we yeah. definitely want to play Electric in the Bay again because yeah. um, the last couple have been really awesome. To anyone who came out, thank you. Um, and um, yeah. so we definitely want to play another one because they're the most fun thing that we like to do. <laughs> uh, it's yeah. just you know, there's like a lot of politics that go into it of like how many shows you're supposed to play in a certain area at a certain time and stuff, and then we have to like have this whole momentum thing going still. And it's a momentum thing. <laughs> there it is again. <laughs> how do you get? How do you guys feel about playing some more songs right now? We would love to. Have you guys want to hear some more music? I think we should hear a little bit more music from Finish City. Let's get this set up here. Oh, shoot. We didn't do what we usually do. We have to do this thing. Excuse us for a sec. Oh, man. Every time we don't do the thing where we do this and say beefs, we have a terrible show. It actually is true. Uh, that's why I screwed up. Yeah, that's why I screwed up. That's why I screwed up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can help. Uh, uh, I need to learn more from the mics. Hey, what's up? Hey, man. Beast. <laughs> yeah, 
see that. Yeah. We, yeah. You know, yeah. we wish we weren't serious. <laughs> <laughs>